All right, you little kryptonauts, it is March 21st, 2022. And today, let's go over some headlines, some NVIDIA headlines. Yeah, these are from Sunday, March 21st, 2022. So we have NVIDIA, Moderna, Nike, Adobe, and other stocks for investors to watch this week. Uh, there's a buy rating out for NVIDIA. I bought the NVIDIA stock at uh, a high of 300 plus. It is down over 25%, so I am at a loss on paper. I have not sold unrealized losses. Uh, hopefully, it will come back. So whenever I buy these damn stocks, they always drop 30%. I don't get it. The only win I ever had was with Tesla. I bought it, and it went up and made, made some bucks. That is a good day. Sometimes you got to take profits, guys. Do not be afraid to take profits. Yeah. All right, next headline, NVIDIA RTX 3080 sees a huge price drop, uh, but there's some bad news, Tom's guide. While an NVIDIA RTX 30 price drop is promising, the latest 3090 Ti leak suggests that building a killer gaming, gaming PC won't be a cheap undertaking. Yeah, so the reason being, let's jump to the next headline. Look, look how they all, look how they all run together and kind of make this story complete. There is a leak suggesting that NVIDIA RTX 3090 Ti could be as much as 4,000 smackaroos USD. That's from GameRan and a couple other sites I saw had that out there. And they had it in Canadian dollars. Of all places, Canada, where they can't even leave their house without being shot by the Canadian police or trampled by the Canadian mounted police. Yeah, if you leave your house, they trample you with their horses. Tough, tough, stick, tough tyrannical country they live in. Anyway, I don't know how they have a have the freedom to go buy graphics cards and they probably won't when the 3090s are at uh, what, what's Canadian to US more so five thousand dollars six thousand dollars Canadian I don't know I know I know a, uh, US buys a lot more in the exchange rate US to Canadian exchange rate uh, yeah there you go so I don't know anyway 3090 TIs are gonna be priced as expensive as shit man it's gonna be horrible I don't see how they're going to sell any of these stupid things. I don't know, NVIDIA. I, uh, I do own their stock, full disclosure, and I'm kind of regretting buying the damn thing. But they may be the only player in town, since the other leak I heard is Intel's GP won't be as powerful as a performer or a big competitor to the NVIDIA and AMD line. So we'll see what happens. Who knows? Who cares? I'm not buying this crap. I'm just going to wait till some older model cards drop below 400 bucks and maybe start picking up some 1660 Supers or 6600 XTs. I don't know. Who knows, right? Yeah, I have a 3080 Ti, so I don't know what the deal with the 3080 is. If you get a 3080, man, keep looking. Don't don't get gouged, man. Uh, get into business with the haggle if you can. Go on StockX. Dot com and go on eBay and make an offer lowball on the guys because I'm thinking a lot of these guys are getting these GPUs from retail bots like Nova Stellar uh, what's the e stock they're getting all these GPUs in think they're gonna flip them but then they go to eBay and eBay charges 14% so they're already brick brick meaning they're not gonna make any money off them so they're then gonna lose 14% a lot of middlemen won't buy GPUs anymore because uh, they come damaged or something I don't know what the hell people are doing when they're shipping their GPUs to these warehouses for rezone, they're like smashing them with sledgehammers or what? It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. If you can get a 3080, you see it on eBay, just make an offer, lowball, and, you know, knock 25% off. The guy's obviously trying to gouge you to get money to get his money back from what he got from the retail bot and the uh, high eBay fees. You can go in StockX too and put your low bid in and you might get it, man. I think it's becoming a buyer's market uh, over the last week and then going into April, it's going to be definitely a buyer's market on GPUs because now we're seeing these things are available. It's not only is the price trickling down, they are actually available. So, uh, buyer beware where you get them from. Be sure you have a good return policy. Amazon does seem to have one of the best return policies for GPUs. Sometimes they do check them out and they take a couple weeks to get your money back because they want to make sure you're not shipping back an actual brick made out of clay they want to make sure if you return something you didn't like that you're sending back the original item uh so yeah you're not gonna get your money back right away it takes a couple of weeks but you'll get it they're pretty good i will give amazon credit they are great on returns even on high-end uh, gpus yeah 
Let's go down. AMD's next-gen RDNA 3 GPUs could be a serious worry for NVIDIA. All right, could be, but it's not happening now. So guess what? I don't give a crap. If it's not happening now, there's no facts. There's no stats. There's no data. I don't care. It's just rumor. Next. NVIDIA GE Force RTX 3090 outguns the Apple M1 Ultra in benchmarks. I don't know what hell Apple's up to, and I don't care. I'm um, not a big Apple fan anymore after dropping money on a MacBook that breaks right out of the gate. And uh, this, their iPhones, where they actually make them run slower as they get older. They make the batteries drain. It's all software program. They just make them act like they're becoming non-performant. It's sketchy. It's a sketchy company. And they do a lot of child labor and forced labor over at their uh, factories in China. It's a pretty sketchy company. Oh, yeah. Ask Tim Cook about that. All right, let's go on. Take aggressive, take, what? Oh, take aggressive NVIDIA profits by FX Empire. Uh, technical chart analysis by, what is he talking about? I don't really care. Take aggressive profits. The stock is down, so I don't know who's taking profits on NVIDIA. Because uh, the thing was at 300 something, now it's at, let's see what it's at. Hold on, let's, let's do some uh, real-time lookup. Blah, 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 blah. This is uh, the horrible, this is the most dreaded, I hate it, Apple stock app. And it's so biased in its news coverage, it makes you want to barf. But it just shows you how there's so much spin to per certain ideologies from these corporations. And I'm sure they're getting the ESG money uh, to basically put spin on financial news because then they'll get reimbursed by the government through that ESG fund. Um, social, environmental, social goodness. I don't know what the hell it is. But anyway, NVIDIA's up 6.81. If we look at the little bastard, I probably bought it back here at 336 and knowing my timing. And it's coming back up. So I don't know who's having profits unless you bought here and it jumped a couple bucks. But then, you know, really, you're going to have short-term capital gains. Not worth the headache, man. Hold it for a year, get your long-term capital gains, and then take your profits if you can, unless it's down like mine is then you got to hold it you're holding that bag yep you're holding that bag all right let's close this little bastard up goodbye apple stock page you buy us little bastard let's go back to nvidia they oh, now here's the good news nvidia stock 370 price target and overweight rating all right that's good news let's get it back up there i like to maybe break even drop that turd of a stock and uh, maybe put it into something else like crypto through a roth account you can actually set up your roth account and you can buy crypto through, through is it i trust and you can buy crypto and not worry about long-term short-term capital gains you know you just gotta leave the money in there you can take out your original money you put in but any profits or any cap gains or anything gains you make you have to hold it in there for five years or whatever there's rules in that but you can take your original investment out if you need to pay your mortgage or pay, or pay off your mistress or whatever, you can take out that money. Um, but yeah, you can go buy crypto now through uh, iTrust. And they made it easy where they don't even charge you daily or second minute fees like they used to or monthly fees, whatever it was. I think it's now all free. Uh, just getting the money to them is kind of a pain because they didn't recognize two of my accounts to do ACH transfer. So it's like I got a snail mail, a check. And I don't know. I'm still thinking about that yet. But that's an option. Oh, uh, what is this? I don't know what the hell that is. NVIDIA MX572 boasts the same video codec as RTX 2050. Okie dokie. Uh, NVIDIA cuts costs by 12%. Does that mean they laid off people to cut costs? Which is sad. But it's Silicon Valley. You live out in San Jose area where NVIDIA is. Uh, it's expensive. I lived out there once. It's expensive AF, man. It is ridiculous. Two engineer salaries. We could barely afford a one-bedroom apartment. It was, it was crazy. It's just, it's not a good place. Uh, NVIDIA cuts by, uh, cost by 12%. Slim chance we'll see any of the savings, though. Of course not. They're cutting costs to meet their shareholder expectations. It's a business. They're not going to pass them on to you because they, they know you're still going to buy it. There's a huge demand for their crap out there yet. And they're going to put out these crappy LHR cards, these 3050s. What the hell is that thing good for? Uh, yeah. And this uh, 3090 for 4000 bucks. I don't know what they're thinking, man. I guess when you're the main player in town, you can set your price and uh, people are going to buy it. But yeah. So anyway, there we go. 10-minute video on the latest headlines basically pertaining 
to NVIDIA as Google sees it. I'm sure if you go to another search engine, there'd be different articles because it is all about feeding you the information they think you want to see, which is kind of scary. Uh, but this is what they're showing me. Um, again, I always say when you read the news, you read these articles, go do your own research and click around and find the other stuff, do another search on a different search engine and see what the results come up. Because a lot of times it isn't real new. It's just spun in a certain way to make you uh, act a certain way or influence you like the stock price. Oh, maybe I should go buy more NVIDIA. I don't know. Why are they pump? You always wonder why these, these uh, stock firms are pumping it because they want you to put your money in it so they can dump it right away and you're left holding the bag. You got, always got to watch when these financial uh, influencers and stuff like that pump something and these stock fin financial people pump a stock like you got to buy this. Get yeah, now's a great time to buy it. Run, don't do it because they want you to buy in. It's going to spike the price, pump and dump it using your money, and they're going to drop. They're going to set their limit, sell limit, and get out while you're buying it, and you drove the price up, and you're holding that nice little bag of NVIDIA or whatever stock, and they're 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 off on their yacht heading down to the Bahamas with their uh, two mistresses, right? You know, just saying, guys, you got to be careful out there. You have a lot of money in your wallet, and guess what? These people want to take it out and put it in their, their pockets, and that's just the way the world is. All right, guys, that is it, man. A little, little bourbon-laden, little bourbon-influenced, uh, invidious uh, news stream for you on a early Monday morning, Sunday, and uh, that is all I got. I'm out of here, man. Go forth, do great things. If you want more news, I can give you more news, but again, I just get bored. I go through the news and see what's happening. It gives me a good idea of what to do. And again, I see NVIDIA prices dropping and dropping. Is it gonna, is it gonna crash? I don't know. We'll see in a month um, what's gonna go on. But it seems like an inventory is being um, more readily available. There's no waiting anymore. Again, go to StockX and go to eBay, and you can do price histories on what is selling and what the prices are. Yeah, it looks like things are coming down. So be patient. If you want to build out a rig, just be patient. You know, maybe buy one card here, one card there. You know, dollar cost average your card purchases. So you don't do like I did, buy like six thirty eighty TIs all at once and go, holy crap, that's a, that's that, that that just cost me a small car. All right, guys, that's all I got. I'm out. Good night. Take care. I got to finish this bourbon. Go to bed.